This video is brought to you by Skillshare. In this video, we'll go over how you can downgrade iOS 15 back to iOS 14 without losing data. But first, let me show you in the about page of settings, I'm running iOS 15 on iPhone 7 and by the end of this, I'll be back on iOS 14. Keep in mind, if you want to downgrade your iPhone, watch this entire thing, otherwise you'll screw your device. Only watch this if you have 15 minutes, do anything wrong and all your data is gone. The only thing you need is a Windows or a Mac computer. Both will work but if you don't have a computer, it's probably not a good idea to update to a beta version at the first place. Assuming you have one, let's get started. Alrighty, the very first thing you need to do is to go to apple.com slash itunes. Scroll all the way down and you'll see windows. Just click on download itunes for windows and the download will start. If you already have itunes installed, I recommend you reinstall it from apple's official website rather than microsoft store. The next link will take you to ipsw.me. You have to select iPhone or iPad depending on which device you want to downgrade from iOS 15 to iOS 14. For me, it's iPhone. Just select your iPhone. Do note that, in some cases, each iPhone has two variants, global and a GSM. The idea is, if you live anywhere in the United States, get the GSM variant of this IPSW file. And if you live in the rest of the world, get the global variant. So for me, I'll select iPhone 7 global. And right now, you can see there are two sections, signed IPSWs and unsigned IPSWs. The idea is Apple unsigns these software versions every now and then to make iOS more secure, or as they'd like to say. But all in all, the basic idea is you have to get that IPSW file that's in green. For me, it's iOS 14.6. As the time I'm recording this video, iOS 14.6 is signed. But if you're watching this in future, it will be iOS 14.7, 14.6.1 or something like that. So just click on the file that's in green. Make sure it says this firmware is signed. This means you can restore to it. If you select any other file, Apple will do server checks and your phone will fail to downgrade. So just click on download and the download will start. The download isn't starting for me. So I'll just click on this copy button and I'll paste it right here and I'll press enter. And as you can see, the download has started. For me, it will take about 10 minutes to download this file, but it might take several hours depending on your internet speed as the file size is enormous. So I recommend you stick to a high speed internet connection. And by the time it's downloading, about 10 minutes more, I'll keep recording to get that extra sweet ad revenue. I'm just kidding. But seriously though, I do want to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. They have over 25,000 high quality classes on pretty much anything from productivity to photography. And with the launch of iOS 15, I love the wallpapers that come with it. So I thought, why not make these wallpapers myself? And I've been enjoying digital illustration. Learn how to use Procreate class on Skillshare a lot. It's curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes. So you can stay focused and follow wherever creativity takes you. And the best part, it's less than $10 a month with an annual membership. How cool is that? So the first 1000 people to click the link in the description below will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium and thanks again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. And now you can see the download has finished. Keep in mind and you need to listen to this. I receive comments every now and then of people asking me the software update failed to install when they try to do it in iTunes. We just downloaded it but when you proceed to the next step and you try to install it with iTunes. There might be a small chance that it will say software update fails. The reason for that is very simple. Even though it looks like the download is completed, there is a slight chance that the download is corrupted. So if you're sure that you have an active internet connection that's very stable and it took you about 30 minutes to download this file, you're good. But if you think it took more than four or five hours to download the file, probably the file is corrupted. I'll just click on show in finder show in folder rather i don't use windows that much so finder click on the windows start button thingy and search for itunes open itunes and at this stage if you are on a mac as i already told you you have to open finder instead of itunes and on a mac somewhere right here in finder you'll see your ios device's name just click on it and the rest of the process is exactly the same for me i'll just click on this small phone button after connecting my iPhone to my Windows PC. So I'll just click on this button icon and as you can see everything about your device is mentioned. Now before we proceed any further, you need to remove the previous beta profile that you already have. Open settings, 
scroll down go to general again scroll down and you'll see VPN and device management under the profile selection select the iOS 15 beta profile and simply click on remove profile it might ask you to restart your iPhone just click on restart now and follow the next steps to show you as a proof I'm still running on iOS 15 and this is not one of those videos where you have to do human verification and all that crap to downgrade your device it, it, it will work one thing you have to do and it's very very important to ensure that the process works for you and you won't face any problem just click on backup now it will back up everything from your iOS device to your Windows PC or your Mac ensuring that even if the process fails we still have a backup your photos and everything like that I took an iCloud backup and I'm taking this second this computer backup thingy so we'll wait for it to backup our device and it, it's already done now here comes the tricky part now this step is extremely crucial and important and make sure to watch this video very very carefully from here now where it says iOS 15.0 you'll see a button where it says check for updates if you are on Windows just unplug your iPhone once and then reconnect it after your iPhone got backed up just reconnect it and you'll see again the iPhone button now while holding the shift key click on check for updates if you are on a Mac you have to hold the option key and then click on check for updates and right here you have to select the IPSW file that we just downloaded from IPSW.me and now this folder window will pop up just select the downloaded IPSW restore file and click on open now iTunes will prompt you hey would you like to update your iPhone to iOS 14.6 we are downgrading our iPhone and it still says updating because Apple doesn't expect you to downgrade iPhones. So we'll click on update even though we are downgrading our device and it's extracting the software. It will take a decent amount of time to extract the software and to downgrade your iPhone and I don't want to make this process long with fancy ass music in the background so I'll cut to when it's done. Sorry for bad audio quality, I'm not in my studio, but at this stage, your phone will go through this progress 2-3 times and it's gonna take a decent amount of time. Woof! More than one hour of footage. Anyway, we'll make this real quick and I'll try to be less rambly. So iTunes will give this weird error, we'll just click on OK and just close out iTunes and that's it, that's all you wanna do. And now, if I unlock this iPhone, you can see the wallpaper is exactly the same. That means, like, this means a lot. First, we downgraded to iOS 14 and the wallpaper didn't change. This means our data is still present. If the wallpaper didn't change, that means nothing much happened. But I'll quickly show you, it's still running iOS 14. As you can tell from the UI, but if I go to general about iOS 14.6, if somehow, and this is really, really important, if somehow you face any problem during the process, just turn off your iPhone, reconnect it, Hold shift and click on update. Do it the exact same way and that'll be it. Wow, that was a trip. Either way, that was pretty much it for this video. Leave a like if you found this helpful. Thanks to Skillshare for sponsoring this video and I'll catch you all very soon. Peace.